It's my favorite time of the month, time for Pro Wrestling Crate. Let's open it up. Let's see what's inside after this. What's up guys? Welcome to another Pro Wrestling Crate video. Hopefully this will be up on Sunday or maybe Tuesday. I don't really know what my schedule is going to be this week. So whenever this is up, thank you for coming over. Thank you for checking it out. Before we open this box, guys, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell if you want notifications for when I post in the future. And hit the thumbs up to like this video. It goes a long way. It helps me out a lot if you just simply hit that thumbs up. Uh, it really does help a lot with the channel, guys. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Let's get this open and find out what's inside. So every month I do Pro Wrestling Crate, I try to be fair to them and let you guys know that this is actually only, I think, a $35 box, plus shipping and handling and taxes. There are usually two t-shirts. This is a shirt from this box from last month. Uh, there is an 8x10 autograph by a professional wrestler, and there are several other small things. Well worth the $35 that I pay for this box every month. I would say two t-shirts alone are worth $35, uh, but an 8x10 autograph, I mean, who gives you an autograph from a uh, relatively famous person for $35? Like, that's unheard of. Uh, if you go to any other site where they do autograph Funko Pops or just 8x10 autographs, sometimes they're $50 to $60 for one month. So uh, this is actually probably the best deal for professional wrestling autographs that you can find right now uh pro wrestling crate is run by pro wrestling tees both of those links i will put in the description below uh very good companies very cool companies they have a lot a, of uh great stuff on their websites and a lot of the money that goes to this stuff is actually helping out those retired or professional wrestlers that might actually need help uh, because they are not working anymore or, or whatnot. You know, and wrestling is a very hard industry for some people. They have to retire early like most sports and uh, it probably helps quite a bit to get some money from the sale of merchandise, you know. So uh, anyway, guys, with that spiel, let's get it open. Let's find out what's inside and here we go. All right, I am very hyped to open this box because the theme for this month is top sellers, meaning some of the best guys out there, some of the guys that sell the most merchandise or the most product in their distinctive company. Uh, there are a lot of great guys in here, specifically Marty Skrull is in here, and I really like Marty Skrull. He is one of my favorite independent wrestlers right now. I believe he's still at Ring of Honor, but hopefully he's going to be at AEW soon. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull these things out one at a time. So right off the top, guys, is the pin. Uh, let's see. Oh, the pin is the Marty Skrull item. That's a cool pin, though. Here, let me show you guys real quick. So there is the pin, guys. There you go. Villain Marty Skrull with the plague mask and the top hat. That is a very, very cool pin. I actually really like that a lot. I put all of my pins on a pin board that's on the back side of the door to this room. Uh, eventually, I will take a picture of it. Oh, I didn't notice that it was uh, on a skull. So it's a plague mask and the top hat on a skull, and then it says Villain Enterprises. I uh, hope you guys might have already noticed that, but I did not notice. So there you go. That is the Marty Skrull pin with the skull. Really, really cool. I like that a lot. Collector's pin. It is exclusive to Pro Wrestling Crate. You cannot get this pin anywhere but in this box. So that is actually really, really cool, guys. So there's the pin. Let's see what else is in here. All right, I like to look at the small stuff before I look at the shirts. And then the last thing I save, of course, is the autograph every month. Uh, so the micro brawler this month is Matt Cardona. Uh, let me take him out because the plastic is going to glare really bad. All right, guys, so that's the micro brawler this month. Matt Cardona, he has a super soaker with the camo outfit, and it looks like maybe a grenade in the other hand with his uh, black beret on his purple glasses. That's actually Zack Ryder, uh, who recently was released from the WWE. Uh, so I'm guessing he's going by Matt Cardona now. So there you go. That is Matt Cardona, the micro brawler, which is strange because I actually do have a Zack Ryder micro brawler I'm pretty sure so this will be 
interesting to have a duplicate of the same guy just with a different name and a different outfit but still pretty cool though i do really like the little super soaker thing um there's a he has a good youtube channel as well for collectors uh for toy collectors really he collects a lot of wrestling toys but he also collects a lot of other cool stuff i'll link that i can't it's pro i don't remember what it's called uh, but if I can figure it out, I'll link it in the description below. If you guys want to check it out, he's actually a pretty funny guy, has a pretty good web website. Um, all right, there is a DVD in this box, guys, and it is, ooh, that is cool. Bang Bang, Mick Foley, or Cactus Jack. Best of Cactus Jack, what does it say at the bottom, in ECW. Ooh, the best of Cactus Jack in ECW. Um... It's featuring Cactus Jack versus Tommy Dreamer, no punches allowed, Cactus Jack versus Sabu, Cactus Jack versus Sandman versus Terry Funk versus Hack Myers, and then it looks like a uh, three-man tag, Cactus Jack, Raven, Stevie Richards versus Pitbulls and Tommy Dreamer, but the cover of that is really, really cool. That's like the old Cactus Jack t-shirt kind of, where he was wanted dead or alive, and then of course the barbed wire there. That is actually Mick Foley. For anybody that didn't know, that is Mick Foley. He was also Mankind and Dude Love and Cactus Jack. So that's really cool. That's probably one that I'll be watching because I'm a giant, giant, giant fan of Mick Foley. He is one of my all-time favorite uh, wrestlers. There is another book, just like there has been. Oh, well, that's, that's kind of cool. Another, like, children's book here, Cody... Heart of the Mountain. We got a children's book, I think, last month, too, uh, with the uh, the Young Bucks. It was a Young Bucks book. This one is a Cody Rhodes book. The picture on the back is kind of cool. There you go. Kind of a cool book. I do like these little books. They're, they're really neat. Uh, let me see. It looks like there's more to this set, though. Young Bucks Stand Tall. That's what we got last month. So I'm guessing the, the uh, Adam Cole... Uh, not Adam Cole, the Adam Page book is what we're going to get next because there is an Adam Page book as well. So, just want to kind of give you guys an idea of what the inside of this looks like. That is the book there. The art is very similar to the last one that they had last month. These are kind of cool. Uh, definitely something you can put on the shelf and just hold on to. We don't have any small kids in this house though. Like my son is 13 years old. He's not going to really have much interest in that. Um, so maybe the set will be cool to have. And then after that, I don't know. I'd rather have the comic books like they were doing than the kids books or the children's books just because they're just going to sit on our shelf really. That's the last of the small things in this box guys. So we had the pin, uh, Marty Skrull. We had the micro brawler of Matt Cardona, AKA Zach, Zach Ryder. We had the children's book and we had the DVD of Mick Foley. So I don't remember everybody that was in this box. I really just remembered Marty Skrull. So the next thing on here guys is the shirts. So we're going to look at the shirts. Oh wait, hold on. Before we do that, there was something between the shirts. There is a CM Punk sticker. That's the, uh, yeah, that's a really, really, really cool sticker. That is his infamous speech that he gave, kind of trashing the, the company at WWE. Very, very cool. That is a very cool sticker. I am super, super excited to get that. That's a really cool sticker. Uh, wrestling fans who know CM Punk are going to really like that sticker. That is extremely cool. So there you go, guys. That's actually really, really cool. So that's five things, and then two shirts, and then the eight by 10 autograph. Again, $35 is what I'm pretty sure this box is. The first shirt in here, guys, it is, let's see. Oh, I think it's John Moxley. Let's see. Unscripted violence. Yeah, it is John Moxley. No gains, just pain is what it says. So that's that's a pretty cool shirt. John Moxley was Dean Ambrose in WWE. He is now in AEW. He is their current champion at AEW. One of the original members of The Shield. Very, very cool shirt. I do like that shirt. I will definitely probably be wearing this shirt out and in the future. I like the spray paint look on it. That's actually a really cool shirt. I like, I like that one a lot, guys. So, 
All right, the second shirt in this box, guys. I feel like that just says the Elite, but I might be wrong. Let me look at it. Oh, yeah, it is just an Elite shirt. Oh, that, I like the look, though. Very, like, old-school cinema look to it. Almost like a classic WrestleMania look. Uh, that is a cool shirt. I like that one a lot, too, man. I love the shirts that we get out of these boxes, guys. There's so many good shirts that they send to us. The Elite... Uh, the Elite, of course, is Kenny Omega, The Young Bucks, Adam Page, Cody Rhodes. Uh, that is the Elite. That is like their group name or uh, their club name. <laughs> Just their club name. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's a cool shirt too, guys. What do you think about that? That is an awesome shirt. All these are in my size because Pro Wrestling Crate knows that wrestling fans tend to be big guys. So these are all 3X. This is a 3X, those are 3X. They fit very well on me. Uh, one of the few companies that will go to 3X. So, all right, the last thing in this box, guys, is the autograph, Pro Wrestling Crate. That's the autograph right there. I don't remember who was in this box. I remember, now I remember Marty Skrull and I remember CM Punk was in this box and I kind of got hyped thinking maybe we might get something from CM Punk. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we did get this cool, the sticker's still really cool. I was just kind of hoping for like a shirt or an autograph. An auto, CM Punk autograph, man, that would be amazing. But the sticker's still very, very cool. It will definitely go on my desk. Um, uh, I like that a lot. That, that might be currently, well, yeah, that might be, that and the pin are probably my favorite things in this box so far. I really like the pin. I like both of the shirts, but I'm a big Marty Skrull fan and I'm a big CM Punk fan. All right, let's see who the autograph is from, guys. Let's see if I can tell just by pulling it out. It is... Yep, I'm gonna have to turn it over and look at it. Oh, oh, it's Adam Page. Ooh, that is an awesome, awesome autograph. Whew, look at that, guys. Adam Page coming in on the horse. That is super freaking cool. That's a great autograph to get. A member of the Elite. One of the OG members of AEW. Probably a very soon-to-be future champion of AEW. Currently, he's one of the tag team members with Kenny Omega. Uh, tag team champions, I should say. But, wow, that's a cool, cool autograph to get. Adam Page. Wow, that's actually really, really cool. Awesome. I wanted to say real quick that last month or maybe the month before, a lot of guys were released by the WWE, which is a terrible thing for them, especially with the times that we're going through right now with COVID and all that stuff. However, it's a good thing for Pro Wrestling Crate because it means that now those guys are freed up to have merchandise in this box because it's my understanding that WWE will not allow their guys to merchandise outside of WWE. Uh, they will not allow guys to have shirts or merchandise that is not sold in the WWE shop. And then WWE takes a giant royalty out of it. Like they take a big chunk of their money. So it's good for pro wrestling crate and pro wrestling tees, the guys that do get released because now they're free to go to this company and make stuff for this crate or just to be sold on the website. Um, I'm really looking forward to a possibility of like a Ryback item or, you know, I'm hoping a Brody Lee item one day. FTR would be absolutely awesome. FTR will be in next month's crate. Uh, that is the revival from WWE. They are in next month's crate, which is themed tag teams. Uh, let's go over everything real quick, guys. We did get the John Moxley Just Pain shirt. I'm not gonna hold the, the shirts up again. The Elite Explosion shirt. The Matt Cardona micro brawler right there, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Cody Hart, uh, Heart of the Mountain, I guess. Cody Heart of the Mountain, that's that's a cool book. Uh, the Hangman Adam Page autographed 8x10, which is freaking amazing. Really, really cool. Uh, Marty Skrull pin, which also very, very cool. I like the pin a lot. CM Punk, that's the pipe bomb. That's the, I was trying to think of what it was called. It was his pipe bomb interview or pipe bomb speech, pipe bomb promo. I don't know. 
whatever you want to call it. That's when he did the pipe bomb promo and he blew things up at WWE. It's one of the most memorable CM Punk moments there is. Very, very cool. I like that sticker a lot. Uh, and then we got the Mick Foley best in ECW highlights, which is also like really, really cool. So wrestling fans, PWL members, tell me what is your favorite item in this box? What do you think was the best thing in here? Uh, I would have to say, I would have to say it's between the sticker and the pin, which is crazy because I got shirts and an autograph, but I love CM Punk. And I love Marty Skrull. So it's between those two items for me. So tell me what you think. What was the best thing in the box? That's really it, guys. Pro Wrestling Crate, I am caught up now. I probably will have the next box within the next week or so. And then I'll be doing another one uh, because I'm behind. This box should have been like two, three weeks ago. But, you know, I, I have so much other stuff to do. So... Thank you guys for checking it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, make sure to subscribe if you want more wrestling content in the future from me. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the bell for notifications. Uh, and that's it, guys. See you guys soon. Have a great week. I am Ty Lock. This is Homespun Geek, and I hope you have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, they do